Oracle have a pricing structure that they use for the Oracle JDK. And the way they do that is is reasonably complicated because they use the number of cores that you're running your JVM on. And then there's a core multiplier that you need to use. Then you need to sort of add all that up and then multiply it by the cost that they have for the license of the, the Java SE subscription. So that number can be very very large. Now, what we do at Azul is we try to reduce that cost significantly. And, you know, it could be anywhere from, say, 25% to 90% less than Oracle are going to ask you. Now, what they did was they said, okay, we will still allow people to use Java for free, but we're going to make that a much smaller set of circumstances where you can do that. And there are literally only four places with the Oracle JDK, you can do that. First is if you're using personal applications, if you're doing development and your IDE, and then for more commercial deployments is in the Oracle Cloud or for Oracle approved applications like their own middleware. There isn't going to be anybody that you can call if you have a problem with it, and you have to rely on the, the provider of that delivering updates whenever they do, you don't have an SLA associated with that that says, yes, we will get those to you in a certain space of time. If we look at the, the historical times that we've done, we've had our update available to our customers within one hour of Oracle's release. So effectively, simultaneously, you can deploy those updates as quickly as you like, and you're getting your machines as secure as possible. In terms of version support, that's clearly a benefit to our customers. If they want to use older versions and continue to get those security updates, they can do that. Another big thing that differentiates us from the other providers of distributions is the fact that we match Oracle, not just in terms of how quickly we make our updates available, but also the point that we provide two different versions of each update. The actual transition moving from Oracle to Zulu is very straightforward, it's very quick, because all you have to do is install the Zulu package on your machine rather than Oracle. Very much the same as if you were to install an, a new update from Oracle, you do the same thing that you would do, you just use the Zulu package instead. Java is so different and not just because of price. If you came here because of price, I really encourage you to look at how uh, changes in Java are accelerating and um, really understand how you can be intentional in your choice of uh, vendors. It's been very rewarding for us um, across, across our enterprise. And um, yeah, I, I hope other people see the same benefits. It's very important that if you want to maintain your applications in the, the most stable and secure way, that you think very carefully about how you're updating your systems and the, getting the best set of options for you. Now, that may be you know, using a free version like Zulu Community, or if you're looking for something where you do want guarantees associated with things, then Zulu Enterprise and the idea of, you know, um, a much more reasonable cost than from Oracle and other providers um, so that you can get what you need to be conformant, to deliver the, the requirements that you have for your users and so on.